And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Malawisaurus, which was a request from Sean via Patreon. And Sean's wife was born in Malawi, so thanks, Sean, for the cool request. Yeah, that is cool. The name means Malawi lizard. It was a sauropod, a titanosaur, that lived in what is now Malawi in Africa, and it lived during the early Cretaceous. It's named for the country of Malawi, plus, you know, saurus, Greek for lizard. Gotta have saurus. Of course a saurus. (laughs) <laughs> it was named in 1993 by Louis Jacobs, D.A. Winkler, W.R. Downs, and E.M. Gomani. Sidney Houghton described Malawi Saurus in 1928, but classified it as a species of Gigantosaurus, and that species is now an invalid name for a diplodocid known as Torniaria. There's another synonym that's Genentia, which used to be a Gigantosaurus species, Gigantosaurus robustus, but that became Torniaria robustus, but was found in 1991 to be distinct from Torniaria and became known as Genentia robustus. Malawisaurus, though, is not the same as Genentia because Malawisaurus fossils come from older rocks than Genentia. So the type of species is Malawisaurus dixii. In 2005, Elizabeth Gomani wrote sauropod dinosaurs from the early Cretaceous of Malawi, Africa, and wrote about Malawisaurus. Malawisaurus is one of the few titanosaurs where skull material has been found. They found cranial elements, cervical vertebrae, dorsal vertebrae, a sacrum, caudal vertebrae, chevrons, and dermal armor. It had a short, high skull, and it was small for a sauropod, about 52 feet or 16 meters long. Tiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about that the video compared to the five six man. Yeah. <laughs> and it possibly had osteoderms on its skin. So Malawi Saurus may have had some basic armor to protect it, which I love when we hear about sauropods with that kind of thing. Yeah, it's cool. Especially titanosaurs. Yeah. So titanosaurs are a group of sauropods. They're very large herbivores that live during the last 30 million years of the Mesozoic. Some species are the largest land-living animals discovered, but in many cases, scientists have found incomplete fossils. The name Titanosaur comes from the titans of ancient Greek mythology. And Titanosaurs were the last group of sauropods. They lived about 90 to 66 million years ago and were the dominant herbivores, and they replaced other sauropods like Diplodocids and Brachiosaurids. They've been found on all continents, including Antarctica. And the most Titanosaurs lived in the southern continents, which was then part of the supercontinent Gondwana. Compared to other sauropods, titanosaurs had small heads. Their heads were also wide, with large nostrils and crests formed by nasal bones. 